when I am ready to come in, what we do need to do is stop the shark from being able to, to sound. If it can go, if it can dive under the platform, then we're, we're not ready. So I will spin the boat and we'll go into reverse where we still have the shark in the lead, but now we're nose to nose. We're going to reverse, he's coming forward, and I can lean over, attach a couple of buoys onto the ring about 18 inches from the hook. Um, and then at that point, we'll let some more line out, spin the boat again, and we'll, now we're in back into a standard lead, but there's a couple, two or three or four balls, depending on the size of the shark, right next to the shark's head. So now the shark can't sound, and then we can bring him over to the platform. We'll lower the platform, and that's when I'll step up onto the bow, because the one thing the shark still can do is swim outside the platform. And as the boat drives by the outside of the platform, I'll be on the bow with the rope in my hand. I'll jump all the way across the other side of the platform and put the rope over the post, let go. The boat keeps pulling on the line, and now it's changed the direction of the pull, so the shark's being pulled into the platform, and it can't really do much about it. And then once it's onto the platform, I'll take it off the post, get in behind its tail, then I'll pull it back and center it, lift it up, and let the scientists do that.